What's up guys, back again with another video about the Nevo Plus, this time about the Titleist RCT balls. The RCT balls became officially compatible with the Mevo Plus this week when FlightScope pushed out a new update for FS Golf and the Mevo Plus. I bought a box to test out myself, and honestly, I'm a little surprised at the results. So what are RCT balls? RCT stands for Radar Capture Technology, and Titleist developed these balls to work better with radar-based launch monitors like TrackMan. Um, basically, they designed a Pro-V1 with a radar reflective marker underneath the cover of the ball, which will help the radar-based monitors capture the spin rates better. If you already have Amiibo Plus, you know that FlightScope recommends the small metallic uh, dots, basically stickers, um, that you add those stickers to any golf ball whenever you are hitting balls indoors. If you're like me, um, you probably gave up on those stickers because they seem to fall off quite often. And although I never tested it, I didn't really see much of a difference. Now, as I mentioned, the RCT ball was originally developed for the TrackMan, but after its release, it got approved for use with the Garmin R10. That left Mevo Plus owners like myself wondering why we didn't get the official stamp of approval. I never bothered to buy a box, but I know a lot of people did and used it with the Mevo Plus anyways, reporting good results. Now that FlightScope officially approved the RCT ball, I decided to buy a box and try it out for myself. So how was I gonna test it out? As I mentioned, I normally just hit regular golf balls with no stickers and uh, it works pretty well for me. But I wanted to test the RCT ball against a Pro V1 with a metallic dot and then also against a regular Pro V1 with nothing at all. Um, I also wanted to test against uh, a very high spin rate a club like a pitching wedge and a very low spin rate club like my driver. So I ended up taking 10 swings with a pitching wedge for each ball and then five swings for each ball with a driver. Let's see how it worked out. Regular Pro V1, no dot. Five more swings. Not a good swing. I'm getting tired. And we're done. Let's check it out. All right, just finished uh, the complete test. Uh, let's go review the data and see if there's any difference. <clears throat> Here are all these shots with the Pro V1. At the bottom, you will see the average. This is 10 shots with a regular Pro V1, no sticker. And uh, if you look at the spin rate, literally every shot is in italics on the spin rate. What that means is that the Mevo Plus did not capture the spin rate. And so that number there is calculated based on the other measurements that the launch monitor took. So that is not the actual spin rate. That is the calculated spin rate that the Mevo Plus basically backed into. Anytime that's in italics, that's what that means. And every single shot is calculated. And if you look at the average, we're at about 7,300. Everything else looks about normal. Um, if we go into the uh, ball, this is the Pro V1 with a dot. I see, it looks like shot number six it caught the spin rate, but I believe everything else is in italics. So one out of 10, it actually measured the spin rate. Everything else was calculated. So not a great look for the metallic dot. And again, with that metallic dot, um, every time you hit, you're, it's recommended that the dot be facing your target. So you can't just drop the ball down you actually have to have the dot facing the target. 
um, which takes a tiny bit of effort. Moving on, if we go to the RCT ball, and look at that, believe it or not, every single swing, it has actual measured uh, spin rate. Not a single swing did it miss it on. So that's amazing. Now, if we go into summary and go into balls, this will show the summary for each ball. Um, and you can see very clearly that the carry distance for all of them are very close. Um, just about 130 yards on average. Uh, club speed, ball speed, pretty close. Um, launch angle, and even the spin, pretty close. Right at about that 7,300 RPM. It looks like on the Pro V1 without the dot, that had it at the highest. Um, but the ball, the RCT ball was not necessarily the lowest. So right in there, pretty dang close. Every other number looks very, very close. So to sum up with the pitching wedge, the RCT ball uh, was able to get actual measured spin rate on every single swing. The Pro V1 with the metallic dot got one out of 10 and the uh, Pro V1 with no dot at all got zero out of 10. But to be honest, all of the numbers look very, very close. We'll just move on. We will take a look at the other session, which is with the driver. This is the Pro V1 with no dot. And if we look at this one, remember we only took five swings with the driver. It looks like each of the five swings did not capture the spin. But other than that, all the numbers look pretty close. Let's check out the Pro V1 with the metallic dot. Okay, in this case, it looks like all five caught the actual spin. Um, no italics here on the Pro V1 with the dot. And if I had to guess, it's just because that is a much slower spin rate. It was able to catch it, uh, although the ball speed is much higher. So I guess it didn't have a problem with that but uh, interesting. Okay, moving on to the RCT ball. So the RCT ball, you guessed it, uh, every single swing got calculated spin on average 3,100. Everything else very close to each other. Okay, if we go to the summary, still again, pretty close. 2,800, 2,700, looks very similar with the RCT and the spin is 3,100. You can see it actually, it was a little bit higher um, on the spin at 3,100 compared to 2,700 and 2,800. Okay, so what does that tell me? Basically, that tells me that the RCT definitely has a much higher success rate of capturing the true spin with the Mevos Plus. However, looking at all of the numbers and comparing against everything, the numbers are pretty close. That also tells me that the Mevo Plus does a really good job of calculating that spin when it doesn't read it. So do you need the RCT ball? I don't think I need it, but if you want the best chance at getting the most accurate numbers, I think it definitely does make a difference. Again, this is my little test with my setup. You may get different results. In fact, you probably will get different results. I've got eight feet, from the Mevo Plus to the ball on the mat, and then I've got about 10 feet to the screen. Uh, if you have less distance to the screen, it may be even more important for you to get accurate spin. Um, so maybe that's something to consider. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It will help me out a ton. Also, if you have any questions about any of the gear in my setup, I put links in the description down below. Um, so you can see what I'm using and, uh, that's it. We'll see you next time.